What makes you instantly not like someone? People who treat their opinions like they're fact. I was driving to a job site with a co-worker the other day and mentioned that I had been using Bumble to try and see what the dating scene is like out here. He said, 99 of the time, it's just women that want you to pay them for sex. I responded that I've been using the app for 5 years and that's never happened once, and he just couldn't accept that. He was like, no, no, no that's not how it works. Either you're really lucky or you're lying to me. All dating apps just lead you to prostitutes. So, uh, buddy. Being uncouth or ratchet. It's hard to find another word that's not foolishness or uncivilized and doesn't sound pretentious as crap. But yeah, in other words, being on that hot girl summer hot cheeto girl type stuff. That's the only other way I can best describe what I mean, but yeah, that. Acting like that. Yuck. My friend tried to put me on with her friend over the phone in the moment I heard. Girl, don't play with me during their conversation, it was like an instant turn off for me. I hate that ratchet crap. I can't stand people who are really focused on or even really care about what is trendy. I had a friend's mom look at me in my Doc Martens and say you know, Docs are out. Everyone is wearing cowboy boots now. That's what's in. I said good thing I dress for myself and not everyone else. If you need other people to tell you what to like, how to dress, and what to buy. I know we will have absolutely nothing substantial to talk about and I think you're shallow and materialistic. People who cheat, people who dump their friends for exes or sex. I have no empathy for cheaters and if I have a friend who gets cheated on, I'm coming with over with aggression. Someone cheats on me again dead to me. I meet someone who's cheated, I'll call you out on it. The kinds of people who will flat out abandon their friends so they can get laid. I'm blocking your contacts, leaving you in the bar and I'm going home. You won't see me ever again. If someone says you work in any context for any reason I have to work to not dislike them. I have no idea why this is so but it is somehow a permanent feature. I understand disgust and dislike but using these expressions triggers me. Also if you are over the age of 30 and still think talking about things you dislike is in any way interesting or important, I won't dislike you but I will avoid you. Behavior Making nasty comments about someone just to me themselves look good it is irrelevant if they do it to me or others. I just hate it. Physically. Bad smell if they don't have a good hygiene and I don't want to be around them I'm very sensitive about it exceptions are people who just came from a hard day at work or something like that and didn't have the chance to do something about it. That's a tough one. I can get along with most people but to reach many 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 people these days that want to dislike for no reason or stupid reasons. As long as you don't dislike like me I will like you x200b and before someone says oh you can be friends with a rapist or something obviously not but those are the type of people that are already finding reasons to dislike you for the hell of it if they start going on about how religion or a specific religion is evil or ignorant especially if they try to claim being an atheist makes them inherently more tolerant and open-minded that'd be ironic enough but most of the people i meet like that inevitably say something racist or homophobic or sexist or something it really makes you wonder what they think more tolerant actually means. The pick me girls and guys. I'm in my 30s. While we are all unique, there are literally hundreds of thousands of people out there that can relate to anything you believe, feel, or even like dislike. It's annoying and stupid at this point in life. Though, I always thought it was. I'm just more certain now than ever that it's idiotic to think him not like other girls guys. 1. They kiss dogs, or any animal for that matter but especially dogs. 2. They hate kids, all kids. 3. They're a woke person. 4. They smell bad. 5. They demand that the world changes to suit them and their ridiculous beliefs, without doing something about it. If they did something about it, it should at least make sense with their demands. Oh, someone you hire to do a specific job in your home and they start telling you things that are wrong with your home unrelated to their specialty. That drywall guy I hired to do some drywall. And he starts telling me what's wrong with the way the concrete in the garage is done. Fuck you. Get a job as a hot carrier if you know so much about cement. Bragging about how much money you have. Even worse, when you are stingy with that money and completely selfish with it. Even worse, when you got the money through absolutely zero skill or expertise, but rather got extremely lucky. And then brag about it to strangers, and also don't share it. Not getting a hint. I'm pretty socially awkward myself and have a hard time with secondhand embarrassment. I've watched people, specifically guys for some reason, make joke after joke without a single laugh and somehow not realize they're making people uncomfortable. 
I can't stand being around it. Someone who complains about every medical problem they have had since they were five. And when you tell them something that happened to you or somebody else you know, they try to one-up everything you say. Oh, and people who think everything is a challenge and then get insanely competitive when I sense they're fake. I can't always put a finger on it, but it's like I have a radar for people that would have been high school bully followers if we were in high school. These are the ones I hate, because they will throw someone under the bus to save themselves. Weaklings they are, inserting themselves into conversations other people were having, without anyone asking them for their opinion, when they have nothing to offer the actual conversation. No one was talking to you, Marty, and we were in the middle of something. Shut up and go sit over there, if my dog doesn't like them. I genuinely believe animals in general but dogs specifically are better judges of character than most humans. If he's skittish or outright aggressive when meeting someone for the first time it's a big red flag to me. Used to be friendly with my boyfriend's best friend until he started completely talking shit about my friend in front of me in another language assuming I didn't understand. Hate the guy now and wish my boyfriend would stop associating with him. When they tip too cheap, go ahead and downvote me but if I'm on a date and I see my date tip like 5 10 I'm out. To me that's such a red flag. Edit I live in CA. Edit a cheap bastard isn't just cheap materialistically cheap as intrinsic. Don't know if it's been said, but if you don't return your grocery cart, you're a monster. This obviously doesn't count if someone has a physical disability of some kind where they are relying on the cart for support or something similar. If they can't structure an argument properly, if they can't explain why they think what they think but still feel so strongly about it. It really irks me because you're shutting me down but can't even make sense of your own words. They think they know everything and or have no sense of humor. The thinking they know everything while having resistance to correction are the number one thing though. I'd rather hang out with a smelly hobo than an arrogant prick. Individuals who patronize others or infantilizes. Narcissist, pride and arrogance. Belligerently rude. Loud and constantly needs praise, validation or adoration. Individuals who are subtle and trying to power move flex on anything. Unnecessary noises. When someone starts belting out as if they're in the shower while in a public place or make obnoxious sounds because they think it's funny. It's all just grating to me and I'd rather not be around them at all. Lack of basic manners, like leaving stuff cluttered in the gym after moving stuff all over the place. Also when people are so over their heads they can't be bothered to even greet a person when being greeted. Happens quite a lot. Closed-mindedness, not caring to explore other ideas or things in general like food. Can't stand it when people say XYZ ethnicity cuisine is nasty that's a thing, but millions of people of said culture enjoy it. Not smiling back when I smile toward them. As a piece of cord. I know all people are going through something at any moment. But, not recognizing my peace offering on a human to human level. You are automatically my enemy. Disloyalty and talking about me behind my back making fun of me. Everybody I've ever known perceives me as a weak nothing. Perhaps that is true, maybe it isn't. But it doesn't need to be pointed out, thank you kindly. Their attitude towards others especially entitled or arrogant people who think they are more important than other people. Sometimes it can just be how they talk towards someone, rudely or with a superior attitude. I find out they're into pro sports, are religious are conservative, have dumb opinions they love to voice at others condemning their differences that don't in any way affect the person, they are racist, etc. Narcissism, anti-Semitism, Islamophobia, asophobia, transphobia, sexism, racism, homophobia, Christianophobia, pedophilia, animal abuse, child abuse, domestic violence, and just being an all-around asshole. When they interrupt or talk over me I give up and don't bother with further conversation. Ever again. I've got zero dollar S for this kind of behavior. I'm present but not listening and always walk away. A person's laugh can instantly turn me against them. I make snap judgments of people based on their sense of humor. It's likely that other people judge me as well, because mine can get pretty dark. In Australia there is a rare but still an existent strain of accent in class that is was the upper middle class. Still around in the south basically informs me you don't work when you go to work. Constantly telling other people they're wrong instead of trying to understand their perspective. It's impossible to talk to these people because in their mind, their reality is the only reality. People that don't say thank you when holding a door open for them or letting them through either in person or in traffic. Just walk straight past you it shouldn't but it boils my absolute piss. Terrible hygiene. Like, I can understand smelling like you've been working all day. But if I can smell you from across the room, and it smells like you've never heard of soap, 
GTF away from me. Constant interrupting during conversation, littering, treating service workers poorly, the seemingly insignificant but very telling act of not returning their shopping cart. The list goes on. Weebs. I don't have anything against them cause I'm one too, but I mean like the type of person who only knows the ships and fan stuff but has never really watched the enemy. Like girl SDFU. People lying to someone else right in front of you for no reason, about little things, it makes you wonder what else they lie about. Had an ex that did this and it was so weird to witness. Just that they look at me funny, I don't like them and I can sense they were a little bit so if they seem like they have some type of negative energy or aura I immediately dislike them. By a glance? A weak handshake or short disproportionate fingers. By conversation? When it's all about them and they never let you have a word in or ask you any questions. Me monsters. Brothers FR trippin' or something along those lines. I don't care about someone just saying bro but when they were it like that I immediately want to yell at them. It's just annoying. People who overshare in a small talk conversation. I do not need to know your children got taken away from you when I met you 10 minutes ago. That makes me very uncomfortable. When someone disrespects their partner in front of me. When someone is respectful for their partner and they treat them with love and kindness it makes me instantly like them. Smoking vaping around children in places like schools, playgrounds and gatherings where it's known that there will be mostly children. That secondhand smoke is disgusting. Disable people who are also ableist. Like they only support people with the same disabilities or even further just hate disabled people in general. What happened to you?